Greetings friends and welcome once again to my game room. I'm David McCord, a game collector, game player, game designer, game maker. Um, I would like to tell you about a game today, a, in, another in the series of Peg Pastimes called Pretoa. Now, Pretoa is an interesting looking little game with a wheel shape here. Sometimes it's called Checkers on a Wheel. It's actually a part of the uh, Alkirks family of games, uh, Jump and Capture. But because of that wheel, it uh, introduces a whole bunch of new um, strategies and uh, new ways to visualize those strategies. Uh, it comes from the northeast section of India, where so many uh, vintage games have originated. Uh, it's a war game and one of that genre. And H.J.R. Uh, Murray, in his History of Board Games Other Than Chess in 1952, uh, categorized it. Uh, along with other war games from the region uh, from the Indian medieval period. You're supposed to play until all of your opponent's pieces are eliminated, but uh, it's been found in experience that when you get down to uh, about three pieces, it, it's pretty much a hopeless cause and uh, you might as well throw in the towel. Um, but let's have a look at the rules and, and how to play Pretoa. Each of the two players chooses a set of nine colored pegs. These are placed as shown here, each player starting on one side of the circular board, leaving the center point open. Pegs move along the lines and circles of the board one space at a time, and captures are made by short jumps, as in most such games. In Pretoa, jumps are mandatory. If a jump can be made, it must be made. In addition, if a chain jump is possible, it too must be made. If two different jumps are possible, the active player can choose which to make. Captured pegs are removed from the board as they are jumped. If a player cannot move or capture because their pegs are trapped, the player who made the last legal move wins the game. If both players agree that neither can capture any more pegs, the player with the most pegs on the board is awarded the victory. If the players are tied in this case, the game is a draw. It was suggested in the December 1981 issue of Games Magazine that there be an alternate ending uh, for the game uh, as opposed to just capturing all the opponent's pieces. Uh, according to the magazine, if there are only three pegs left on the board, two of one color, one of another, then the first player to reach the center space would be the winner. I don't know. Pretois is available as part of the Peg Pastime series, as I mentioned, and uh, they are by New Venture Games and distributed by Red Hen Toys. If you're interested in Pretois and other historical games, um, this is the place to be here at our YouTube channel. Um, my, uh, my game room includes a lot of games, as you can see, and uh, I will be bringing some synopses of different kinds of games, game theory, game play, uh, collectibles, uh, just general game information here to the channel. So if that's something that interests you, by all means, uh, click the subscribe button. Meanwhile, it's like I always say, you should play every day. <laughs>